Rob Vasquez here, Cap Combat Sports. Today we have the one, the only New York City native, Nuestro Orgullo y Latino, Julio Alce. He is current bantamweight, peso gallo, in the UFC roster, and also a Tiger Showman product over here in New York City, a native and pride and joy. Uh, tell us about your background, uh, Julio. Well, one, it's great that great for you having me. Thank you for having me. Here, Thank man. you, man. It's really exciting. You're welcome. Um, poquito de, de mí. Yo soy eh, nací aquí en los Estados Unidos. I was born here in the United States. Um, my, my parents are from Colombian descent. I started off, you know, as a out of shape, chubby teenager. Um, my sister, hermanita, she brought me to Tiger Showman. Uh -huh. Yeah, he el, el, el journey. Oh, I started wow. my journey just training, focused on losing weight. Oh, wow. Next thing you know, we're here in the UFC, baby. Yeah, that's 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 top of the line right there. That's top of the line right there. UFC is the that's the big time. So so uh what inspired you? What what did you listen to, read? or experience, ¿Qué, ¿qué fue algo que, que te inspiró te para, para seguir para adelante en, 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 en esta carrera en la vida? Um, más importante fue es que yo cuando era chiquito y como era gordito, eh, you know, when I was younger, you know, I was a you know, fat chubby kid, you know, <laughs> people picked on me. People picked on me because of the way I, I looked, because the way, you know, like my appearance was. And, you know, look, I, I, I see... Even kids says they, you know, they, they get bullied and they don't know how to deal with it. But, mm -hmm. you know, instead for me, I, I took a different option and I did something about it. Mm. So that's... Tomé una diferente ruta. Y no dejé que me, no dejé que lo que me dijeron me molestaba. Solo hice algo. Entonces, you know, I did something about it. Empecé a entrenar. Started training and, you know, my sister brought me. I fell in love with martial arts. It was, it was more, it, it was a, because it became a journey for me to get better, to get stronger, to get to where I want to be, to know that I can protect myself. And mm. I eat that. Yeah. That's right. That's right, brother. That's something that. It, it's a source of inspiration for so many people who I hope are listening to this that, you know, we all, you know, they look at, 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 at you and others like you and they think, oh, this guy was always this way. They don't know the story. They don't know the journey. They don't know what you went through to, to get there because it's like you said, you took the other option. Tomaste uh, la otra opción de hacer algo en favor para superar you know, so, so that you, you took that other that other route and option to, you know, to, to move forward and to do something better. And a lot of people can, you know, uh, um, that's a, that's, that's, that was a great start. And so proud of you. I've seen some of your highlight fights, Tamer and uh, Rosa and several other guys. And you were always the smaller guy. <laughs> you were always the smaller guy, but you were like, I said, I told somebody, I said, well, he's a New Yorker and then he's a Latino. So, so the fires, it's, it's going to be fireworks in there. I doubt you're going to see a boring one here. <laughs> and I remember the, he uh, was a, was a head kick. It was a head kick. Am, am I correct? It was a head kick, I believe. Yeah. With, uh, Juliana Rosa. Yeah. And Tamer, it was rear naked choke. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, uh, we were watching, man. You know, big fan and, 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 and always and always like pushing forward for you, man. I was like, dale duro, dale. <laughs> but now you move to uh, Bantamweight. Peso Gallo hasta ahora. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Why did you move there to Bantamweight? La misma razón. Que yo era el más chiquito. El más chiquito. These guys were, these guys were uh, a lot bigger, dropping down from a heavier weight, you know, like heavier weight to get down to 45. Mm, Entonces, George, uh, Peso Pluma. I was walking around 145 pretty much, so my weight cut was easy, but these guys are too big for me. So I'm like, you know, let's let's do it right. Let's go back to 135, and then let's take a run there. Yeah, I was holding cool. my own at 145, 
Yeah, you were. But, you were. but I can only, like, you can only do so much. Yeah, so muy grande. Some, uh, that, that bone density is different. And your, your skill level is, 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 is great. But, and the style that you bring is great to fight these bigger guys like that. It was like uh, so inspirational, but it's smart that you did that. Um, who were your heroes growing up? Um, mis heroes fueron uh, mi familia, eh, especialmente mis hermanas. Ah. Uh, porque ellos, ellos tomaron... Eh, me ayudaron con muchas decisiones que me ayudaron a llegar a este nivel. Mm -hmm. Entonces. So they love, they, my, they love their, uh, sisters love their uh, brother. <laughs> yeah, I'm the, I'm the baby brother. Oh yeah, boy, I already know yeah. that one. Yeah, el nene. So, <laughs> the baby, You know, yeah. look, they, they always have my back. Yeah. My parents always worked hard, mm -hmm. but they were, they were just always there to give me that extra push. Yes. And, you know, they, Help me make a lot of decisions that also help me, you know, jump to this level. Also, uh, mi, mi mentor, mi profesor, que me enseñó artes marciales, mm -hmm. y todo, todo, el, todo, el, todo el grupo de, de Tiger Showman, porque ellos, mm -hmm. ellos me motivaron para llegar a este nivel. Cuando, cuando yo apenas empecé, you know, when I first started, uh, you know, my coach, and my entire team, you know, like, before we got to this level, I didn't even know myself that I could reach that level. I was just focused on, you know, trying to lose weight. And I had my own, you know, things that I was working on to make myself better at. Wow. And then they're like, no, you know, start competing. Wow. And next thing you know, you know, I was, I was doing a lot of competitions. I finally turned 18. I got my first official fight. And I was like, yo, let's take it to the top. That's right. That's they right. They always believed in me. They always pushed me. You you made a run. And, you, you win the Golden Gloves, uh, too? Golden Gloves? Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah, watching that. 2011. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, uh, so it's, it's been a... Wow. It's been a huge journey. And I'm proud that I have all these people in my life. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. That is, that's always a blessing. Being from New York City, uh, home here in New York City, how does it make you feel? Not only elsewhere, but when cuando tu gente, you, you, you people here just uh, recognize you and inspired by you. Yeah, me hace sentir feliz. I feel, I feel, I feel happy. I feel proud to be representing, um, and especially representing, you know. My people, you know, Latino America. That's right. That's right. And because it, it took, it took, it took a lot of hard work and sacrifice to get here. That's right. And it wasn't, it wasn't just like I just started fighting and I magically made it here. Mm -hmm. Like it was, there was a starting point, and that starting point was tough. Mm -hmm. And but where where most people quit at it because it's tough in the beginning. You know, like there's a few that will be like, okay, this is tough stay on it and keep going mm. and that's exactly what i did yeah. you know especially with the help of my team they're yeah. always there to motivate me they're always there to push me even days that i'm tired you know yeah they're, they're, they're there for me yeah, so but, mm -hmm. and the family and like not just you know like not just my my team but my students mi estudiantes que le enseño since i was saying because if I'm asking for my students to train hard and push themselves, I got to do the same thing every single day. Um, you know, I want to just be a, an example for people to be like, yo, you know, like, even if shit's tough right now. Can, yeah, exactly. Adelante con todo. Yeah, siempre para adelante y nunca para atrás. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, brother. That's right. Um, yeah, and, and I, was, I was speaking with you about not only that, but being from New York City, I know we have the toughest fans. We, <laughs> we have, so does that give you an extra motivation when you're in there? Does it give you an extra push? Does it, besides being a Latino, which naturally... <laughs> <laughs> that's sangre caliente, hot blooded, but but just smart. But does it give you that extra motivation and push to have the New York City and, and Latinos and all and all, all the fans behind you over here? 
you know, it, it gets me excited. It gets me, it gets me pumped up. But what gets me more excited is the the motivation behind. You know, like I, I'm I'm driven. You know, just not just for myself, but you know, I'm driven for the older people that I care about. Like, you know, I'm going out there and I'm just like, yo, let's freaking do it. I'm motivated by, I'm motivated by their motivation, their belief in me. Great, great, great. So, yeah. you know, they go, like, when I go out there, it's like, I, I, I feel the excitement from all the New York fans and from yeah. the, you know, from all my, you know, all the Latino fans. But I'm, I'm more, I get, I get more driven because I have so many, you know, the, my circle and the people around me mm-hmm. have such a strong belief in them that that motivates me and then it gets me excited i'm like yo let's freaking do this so it's yeah. like my motivation motivates them and their motivation motivates me and their belief in me motivates me even more wow yeah, so, that's that's beautiful that's good man because you speaking of that you have a stable of fighters that your, your teammates that you fight alongside uh and, and how does that help you training with, with people like Shane Burgos, Lyman Good? I mean, you guys look like the Latino Expendables, man. <laughs> you guys, that's going to be the new one. But how does it feel? And, and, how, and, and, and I know I did. And how does it benefit you to, to train with such, such guys like high level like yourself, but always pushing each other and, and, and just great fighters like that that are so – you know, awesome, man. How does that help you? It's great because they all have different, you know, we all have, you know, we all learn from the same coach, but we all have different styles to our fighting. So we get to kind of pick one thing for, or, you know, certain things from each other's styles to help, you know, build our own and get better. Um, and when you train with people that are, that are better than you, they're going to make you better. Of That's course. It, plain and simple. Plain and simple. Like, yeah. look, you know, it's like training with, with Shane, with with Lyman, with uh, Mike Trezano, with Mike Jimmy Trezano. Rivera, mm-hmm. fighting, fighting this, fighting oh, this Jimmy weekend. Rivera, el, 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 yeah. hey, eh, mira, mira, para que él vea. Go, <laughs> Jimmy, go. <laughs> My man. <laughs> yeah, those guys know, look, are great, man. Yeah. Those guys are beasts. So when you're training with somebody high level like them, and we got plenty more. Oh, I know. You know so we got know. like a lot of amateurs who are coming up. So it's like you, we got a we got a stable full of. You know, right now, people at the high level, people up and comers who are going to get to that high level soon. And, and you know, like you got people, you know, like, and we're, we all have our advantages. And there's people that are in there that are just monsters. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're just there to make you better. So when I train with them and they kick the shit out of me, you know, like, <laughs> I feel great because I'm, yo, it's like, this is part of getting better. Yeah. Right? If you, you know, like, look, when you go with somebody who's not at your level, yeah, you learn little things from them and you learn how to kind of work with them and stuff. But you also need to go with people who are better than you because then they bring out a different side of you mm-hmm. that's going to make you better. So it's like it all works out. Like We all help each other out. So it's mm-hmm. like if I'm good in one in a certain area that they might be having a tough time with, yeah, then, so. you know, they pick up on that and they try to improve that area and so on when I go with my other teammates. So, uh-huh. you know, like we all just have a freaking great energy in the room, yeah. great intensity. Everyone offers a different skill set and freaking make each other good. You know, people, people, you know, like we kind of sneak under the radar sometimes and people don't realize that, you know, we're a, mar- you know, we are a, a legit martial arts. Yeah. 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 E- 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 on top of that, ustedes song. Uh, un, un orgullo latino para ver mm-hmm. todos ustedes así junto it's like but to see all you guys there together it's it's a uh, so, so it's, it's a latin and hispanic pride and you guys it, it's when you go in there it's never a dull moment all oh, you guys it's it's mm-hmm. like you know i hate to use this expression balls to the wall like yo <laughs> let, let's go and <laughs> may the best man win so, <laughs> so and 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 you, you can't get any better than that and uh it's it, it's inspiring to me as well, you know. And um, I have uh, what advice would you give to someone, a younger fighter, someone, you know, trying to give a pursuit to a career in MMA? What advice would you give? My advice to them is, if you really want to make, if you want, if you really want to pursue the career of a fighter, mm-hmm. then just don't make excuses. 
right? Because you're going to have to sacrifice a couple of things to get to this level. And that's to anybody, right? Look, if you say you want it, then you got to put in the work for it, plain and simple. Yeah. It's not going to be given to you. Mm-mm. It's just because you, you, you ask for it, because you talk about it, right? You have to work to get it. Mm-hmm. It's something that, you know, to get to this level, it's like, you got to earn, it's kind of like you got to earn your way in there. Of course. Right? Because you can't just say you want to be a fighter. And then when it comes to doing fighter stuff, mm-hmm. you're not yeah. going to, you, you're not, you're not, you're not willing to do it. No, you want to be a fighter or whatever. Even, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't have to be a fighter. There's anything you're trying mm-hmm. to pursue. Mm-hmm. You got to put in the work for it, plain and simple. Yeah, no excuses, yeah. no whining, no complaining. Like, just freaking work at it. Yeah. Go after it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. With anything, you 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 write about that. Es eh, eh, correcto que cualquier cosa que uno quiere eh, estar en la vida, uno tiene que, que poner un, un esfuerzo y trabajar duro para eso. Y siempre saber que todos los días no no van a ser buenos días buenos, pero son es algo que la la adversidad te puede ser mejor, porque hey. cuando cuando tú no supera eso it is mejor. When you when you uh when you're faced with obstacles and adversity, a lot of people you really won't tell how good you are unless you face adversity. But once you face that and you overcome that, then you you, you get better and you and, and it's true. You the excuses we can make a lot of excuses for not even throwing out the garbage <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. So it's just the little things, you know what I mean? So imagine at that high level it, where you you're there and there's really not a lot of room for error in there <laughs> you, you really it's not a place where you want to do you know just maybe 50 or 70 or 80 percent you really have to be full-time with it otherwise yeah you know probably not a good look you know what's a myth about the industry that you would want to debunk now um i'm not very familiar with the myth i mean unless you got one for me what's a myth that i could probably okay. debunk Oh well, see for you, it's probably it's probably not going to be weight cutting for you because you probably don't have a problem with weight cutting at all. Uh, mm. How do like most people? Oh, not most people. A lot of people may view a fighter as being, oh, this guy who just violently goes to the street <laughs> because they see what you're doing there, but they don't know the other side to you. So, mm-hmm. okay, so what do you do? Yeah, how, I got you. perfect. Gotcha. All right, one not not every single fighter is a meathead. Exactly. Right? Um, I think people, I think now as it's growing more, um, I think people, people used to view us fighters as like, we're just like these meatheads, muscle meatheads, just like acting all tough and shit. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. we're actually like the calmest freaking people around. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, look, you look at me, if you see me on the street in casual clothing, mm-hmm. you wouldn't believe I'm a fighter. You wouldn't even know that I'm a fighter. Right. You'd be like, oh, who is this guy? Exactly. Like, Exactly. So, people, and we're people. like, we're very, we're very, you know, soft spoken people. We're, we're very kind to everybody because we're martial artists, right? We know what we're capable of. Of course. So, we don't have to go around expressing, like, oh, I can just, exactly. like, yeah, we don't have to show off anything. We, we in our mind, we know what we can you do know. to somebody. So, mm-hmm. we're not, you know, not meatheads. Mm-hmm. We're approachable. Of course. We're, we're kind. We're, we're kind. Exactly. Exactly. So. Yeah, because because that's that's one thing that 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 some people they especially if they don't know probably some of the most sensitive people or people who are more I think most people who put it all out on the line in front of everyone are usually more approachable usually just more uh, a little more open and raw honest stuff like that because you, like I don't like to say the word coño but how much more. <laughs> open can you get then put it all out there in front of everyone where it could go this way or this way so yeah que toda la gente que son peleadores que no son gente violento de la calle muchos son gente gente calmada uh, hombres de familia son padres hermanos y son gente calma imagínate si no fueran así tanto gente que lo hacen hubieran estado el mundo más más, más loco yeah. que el mundo pero Okay, okay. Like who would who would be able to stop them if they did something like that? But it's not that's not the case. It's usually other people who are not into stuff like that, who haven't found their way in life, who don't have that and may may need more the martial arts or something to help stabilize or find where they need to be. Because exactly. you know, because like most people, most guys that I that, that I know and I'm, I'm familiar with, they're not like they're just really nice people, very very nice people. Eat, you chill out, you hang out. 
they're not in the street doing all that crap. Ah, you know, UFC, you're yeah, about to have a fight. You're about to have a fight in the, in the U.S. So when you're fighting in the UFC, I mean, yeah, I'm sure, pretty sure you're not giving out hugs. You know what I mean? <laughs> For the fight. Yeah. It's, it's a fight. So it's like, you know, it is, it, it is the correct place to be doing all that and stuff. Mm -hmm. A question. When is your next fight, man? I cannot wait, brother. So um, I want to try, you know, I'm trying to hopefully get something um, April, May, around there and see what happens. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like we're just, I was just waiting on the word for it. Good. And Sensei Arce, anyone who wants to get involved in the martial arts, from the great one here, this guy, Sensei Arce, where can they do so? Um, well, I'm located in Bayside, Queens, uh, right on Northern Boulevard, Tiger Thomas Martial Arts. I'm always teaching there. You can actually, you know, DM me on JulioRC89 on Instagram, JRCTSMMA on Twitter, or you can follow also my other page, Bayside TSMA on Instagram, which is uh, my school's page. Awesome. So, and just look, look us up online. You want to come in, try to class. Mm. Boom, we're here awesome. in Queens. Awesome. You can't get a better guy than that than Julio I'll say, I'll tell you. Um, you know, be also being here in New York, I'm not too far away from you. I'm like <laughs> probably a few blocks away from you right now. I'm just sitting in the house, you know what I mean? <laughs> I gotta take care of you. I gotta throw out the, you know, I gotta throw out the throw out the trash, you know, being the king of the, <laughs> being the king of the castle when she, you know, when she's not here. But <laughs> pero ay, right, muchísimas gracias. Eres un orgullo latino, nuestro yorquino, sangre de Colombia. Mm -hmm. and, and our pride, Julio, Sensei Alce. And you guys got to watch this guy fight. It's, it's, it's like never a dull moment. Like, like your cardio must be like, geez, man. Like, what did, <laughs> what did they do? Put a arroz con gandule pedido at the end of the treadmill for you to catch it. Because I'm like, Everything. never ending. Never ending, brother. Never That's ending. Right. Yeah, I was like, shh. Dude, and, and the guys at, 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 at that weight, they're so technical, man. Like, if you really want to learn about the sport, you get mm -hmm. to see these things like that. It's like every little move, you know? And uh, we appreciate you. We're behind you. New York's behind you. We got to catch a meal one day. Say, uh, algo colombiano. Colombiano, Boricua, okay. Latino, lo que sea, lo que sea. Uh, lo que sea. Yeah, you know how we do. And then we eat, we eat like we're going to the electric chair, all this food. You know? <laughs> oh, man, yeah. man, 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 yeah, shoot, man, your, your next fight might be a light heavyweight. <laughs> Messing around with me. All right, man. Se, uh, se aprecio mucho en gente de, del mundo, todos los Latinos y los Latinos de Nueva York, and those over here from New York City from Queens, BX, Brooklyn, Staten Island, Long Island, everywhere, upstate New York, lo que sea. You got to support this guy. This guy is uh, one of those guys that's never a dull moment. You know, that's like you, you get tired when you watch him fight because you're like, Phew. but it's it's always it's always uh, a great experience to watch you. Uh, it's been an honor to speak with you. Eres tremendo persona, un orgullo. Bien humilde, great, great person, humble. It's just been an honor, man. Que Dios te bendiga. God bless you and your family, Sensei Arce. And I look Amigo, forward to see it. I look forward to see it. We're going to catch that meal soon. You're gonna catch, I'm going to let you yeah. pick the place. I'm going to let you pick the place, all right? Amen. Que Dios te bendiga. All right? Lo mismo, hermano. Muchas right. gracias. Saludos a todos. Ah, Salud. thank you. Hasta luego. Bye. All right, later, mami. Hey, guys, if you like the content, don't forget to like share and subscribe take care